this is my last term as chair. I'm saying it on Fox News. It's done. Uh, this is my last term. My next guest just became the longest serving Republican National Committee chair in modern history after winning re-election on Friday. Here to talk about it, here she is, Ronna McDaniel. Good to have you here. Congratulations to you. Um, I want you to listen to one of your challengers, Harmeet Dillon. This is what she said yesterday. Call for number one. Nobody's going to unite around the party the way it is, which is seemingly ignoring the grassroots of the party, refusing to take the steps necessary to help us actually win. I do hope, even though Ronna got reelected, she's getting the wake-up call that's coming from outside this building. Okay, so was there a wake-up call in this process for you, Ronna? Well, there's always things that we can be learning and improving on as a party, and certainly we love the grassroots. We need them engaged to be poll watchers, poll workers, door knockers, all those things. Uh, but I've run on unity, Dana, and I've said we've got to start coming together. We can't be so vitriolic towards each other that we can't win elections. And that's something we saw this past election with Republicans refusing to support other Republicans coming out of divisive primaries. And I think that's what really resonated with the RNC members, which is we have got to start coming together and recognize if we're, we're only going to win if we're united against the Democrats. In fact, there's a, this is a headline call for number three. This is from the Associated Press saying that Republicans confront bitter divide, no clear path forward. Except there was one thing I think there is a lot of agreement on, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on how the Republican Party plans to address this, which is a need to focus on early voting. What tactically can you do to change that? You know, I think there's been a lot of misinformation on that, actually, because we beat the Democrats in Florida on early voting in North Carolina. We just won a seat in California using ballot harvesting. But we need to replicate in other states what's working well in states like Florida. So the RNC has invested in those states for a long time. It's also voter registration. It's our minority outreach, our community centers, and continuing to grow that infrastructure. You know, the RNC, we don't pick the candidates, the voters do. We don't call the plays, the campaigns do. But we do build a vital infrastructure to make sure our candidates can compete. And in this last election, four million more Republicans turned out than Democrats. And actually, we would have won the electoral vote based on the turnout, because we were the top vote getter in states like Arizona, New Hampshire, and Georgia, mm -hmm. three critical states that we would need to win the White House in 2024. So the RNC is the turnout machine. We can always be looking at ways to improve. But this last election showed that we did turn out more Republicans than Democrats did. So then looking forward to 2024, and you said this will be your last term that you're serving. So President Biden looks like he's gearing up to announce for re-election. The DNC has its winter meeting coming up the end of the week. Um, what are their vulnerabilities? What do you think the Republicans are in a position to go against him? Because one of the things that some Republicans are concerned about is that if you have 17 candidates running at the same time, it will dilute the message as there's all the Republican infighting and not enough focus on going against Biden? Well, we, we, we don't have our field set yet, Dana, as you know. Our, pri our debates are going to start probably in July or August, so that's going to give us a good feel before then as to what our field looks like. But look, look at Biden. I mean, he's still ignoring the border. We still have inflation. We still have uh, people losing jobs across this country and do not feel like their lives are better off under this Biden administration. So I think we have a great opportunity to take back the White House. But I'm going to reiterate again, it only happens if Republicans come together. And if we continue to fight each other and focus on each other, that we lose sight of the bigger picture, we won't win. And so uh, it's about addition, not subtraction. And that's what I'm running on. And I think that's going to be one of our roles coming out of our primary is making sure every candidate who's seeking the nomination supports the eventual nominee. Okay, Ronna McDaniel. So uh, I don't know if you're a glutton for punishment running again for the RNC chair, but congratulations to you. You won that uh, vote 111 to 51. Congratulations. See you soon. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.